Okay, let's get real for a minute. There's five things that I see people doing all the time wrong on saxophone. And in this video, I'm gonna tell you what they are and how you can avoid them to make sure that you move ahead so much faster with your saxophone. <laughs> You know, I've helped thousands of players through sax school and I, I see the same common mistakes being made all the time in countries all over the world. These are mistakes that saxophone players make and you know, if you can avoid these mistakes, then you're gonna move ahead so much faster with your playing. Let me just run through these five things that I see all the time. They're not all the things, but they're the five most important things I think that people miss. <laughs> Okay, so here's number one, focus. I know what it's like, these days on YouTube, there's so much stuff to distract you. And what ends up happening is most of us end up going from one thing to the next thing to the next thing constantly throughout our practice and our playing. And what ends up happening is we're not focusing on one thing. The best thing you can do for your playing is to focus on one thing, one exercise, one scale, one piece of music really follow that one idea through to the end and set yourself a challenge or set yourself a time frame. I'm gonna focus on just pentatonic scales for the next month. I'm going to work on this piece of music until I can get it to a standard where I can record it or film it and stick it on YouTube. Work through one thing and follow it right to the end and forget about all the other extra ideas that you've got. You can make a note of them if you want in a, in a list that you can work through one by one, but don't work on 20 different things at once because you'll end up not achieving any of them. Practice habit. This is so important. It doesn't matter whereabouts you are with your playing, it is so important to create a set practice habit. And I'm talking about a really firm commitment. You need to make a promise to yourself about how much you're going to practice and what schedule you're gonna do it at. Ideally, every day. Imagine if you could find 10, 15, 20, 30 minutes every day, or an hour, whatever you can fit in, but you did it at the same time, and you did it every single day. You've gotta create that habit, and it's a commitment from you. And if you can stick to that, you are gonna see your playing increase so fast. I can't tell you how important this is, but you have gotta to stick to it. And if that schedule is four times a week or three times a week, that's okay too, but you gotta stick to it. Make that the most important thing. More important than watching YouTube or checking your Facebook feed or watching TV, okay? Stick to that practice habit. Please, please, please keep it simple. Most of us tend to overcomplicate our playing. You know, we're trying to sound like our idol. We think we need to add extra things with our embouchure, extra bends, scoops, extra twiddly notes, all this extra stuff that overcomplicates our playing. And in the end, what it does is it clouds the, the core important thing, which is a good, strong melody and a lovely, strong tone. So when you're playing, particularly if you're just getting started, really you're better to focus on keeping everything simple. So if you're learning to play a lovely melody, keep that melody simple and get the core of that melody right. Now this is the same whether you're learning a jazz standard or even if you're learning a pop tune. Start with the core melody, get that right, make it sound awesome as a simple, clear melody with a wonderful warm tone and a full sound all the way through. And once you've got that right and it sounds amazing, then you can think about adding, adding extra stuff on top. So keep it simple. You're gonna see much more progress much more quickly. Your embouchure is so important, that's number four. All of us learn things about our embouchure. It's the first thing we learn when we start playing saxophone, about how to shape our embouchure. And there's a million things on the internet or that you'll hear from different teachers about your embouchure. But you know what, most of us neglect our embouchure and yet that is the most important thing in order to get a really great sound. We all want a great sound, right? Well, if you want to get a great sound, you've got to get your embouchure under control. And that means putting a good portion of every practice session aside for working on your embouchure. It's like going to the gym and getting your, trying to get big biceps, you know, or running and trying to increase your, uh, your personal best running time. You're working on those muscles. And when, as a saxophone player, our muscles we need to focus on are our embouchure muscles. They need to be in shape. 
So I'm talking about long tones, I'm talking about slow melodies, I'm talking about working on your tuning. All these things that will strengthen your embouchure are so important. So make your embouchure the most important part of every practice session, particularly with your technical practice. Work on your embouchure every single day. Number five, it's not about the gear, guys. Okay, I'm gonna leave you with my last tip, which is about gear. You know, we're all guilty of this, spending loads of time swapping from one mouthpiece to the next mouthpiece, from one saxophone to the next saxophone, or looking for the next little doodad that's gonna magically improve our sound and our technique. There really aren't any shortcuts with saxophone, I'm sorry to tell you, there's no magic pill, and nothing that you buy is gonna magically transform you into an amazing player. And you know, the reality check about this is if you think about any great player, it doesn't really matter what saxophone they play, they're gonna sound amazing anyway, because what is sounding great is their technique, their embouchure, uh, and their concept of sound as well. That's the most important thing. So whereas gear might, a better mouthpiece or a better saxophone might give you a small marginal increase in the sound and that you have and the ability to play, in reality, 99% of it is gonna come from you. So whatever gear you're playing on now, focus on that. Focus on getting the absolute best sound for you, your best sound on that particular setup that you've got your mouthpiece, your saxophone. And instead of spending all that time thinking about gear, spend that time working on your embouchure, working on your technique, working on your concept of sound, and get the best sound that you can. If you can do that, you are gonna see so much more progress. You're gonna move ahead so much faster. And most importantly, you're gonna have the, a really clear idea of what your sound is. And then when you do upgrade your mouthpiece or upgrade your saxophone, you're gonna get the full benefit of that extra special gear. But it's not about the gear, guys. It's about you. It's about developing your embouchure and developing your concept of sound. So those are my things. Focus, get a practice habit, keep things simple, work on your embouchure, and most importantly, focus on your playing, not on changing your gear. If you can get those five things down, you're gonna see amazing progress in your saxophone. I know you can do it. You're gonna really benefit from all that hard work and focus that you're putting into your playing. I love the comments I get from you guys. They really help me to make better videos. So please leave me a comment below. And if it's your first time watching one of my videos, please subscribe, because I'm making new videos all the time to help you get better at playing saxophone, hopefully keep you inspired, and most importantly, help you to have fun on your instrument. Keep practicing, I'll see you next time.